So the speed is in unit time. How much distance is traveled by an object is called as its speed. And the basic unit of the speed is meter per second or kilometer per hour. The units of the distance is meter or kilometer it can be measured and the time can be second or hour. Now we discuss the another time next one of the important motion uniform motion. What is meaning of uniform motion? If any object is an object travels in a straight line and covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then it is said to be uniform motion means uniform motion means an object the condition is it must be travels in a straight line and it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time how it is possible the distance is remains constant with respect to time means it its speed is remains constant yes let me discuss the example when a car is let me discuss a car is travels in a straight road now i note down the time for every 2 2 minutes it is 0 minute let me discuss 5 5 minutes and 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes now i note it down the first 5 minutes it covers 2 kilometers and the next 5 minutes is also it covers 2 kilometers it covers 2 kilometers means this car is travels with a constant speed the distance and the time intervals is remains constant 2 kilometer 5 5 minutes 2 kilometer 5 minutes 2 kilometers 5 minutes means it's that object is travels in equal intervals of distance in equal intervals of time then we say that that object is in non uniform motion how we say that non uniform means here the speed is remains constant speed remains constant what about non uniform motion for non uniform motion an object does not is travels in a straight line let me discuss the in example a car is travels in a straight line and i note down the time also zero zero minute and after five minutes and after 10 minutes what is its record the first five minutes its speed is let me discuss two kilometers and after it is three kilometers and after it is one kilometer means what happened here the distance, the first it covers the distance 2 kilometers. After that it covers 3 kilometers. That means before it travels slowly, its speed is slow. After that its speed is pick up and again its distance is less. That means speed is also less. Means in this non-uniform motion, an object is travels in a straight line. But its speed is not constant with respect to not constant with respect to time. is so called as non-uniform motion. Or oh, an object, an object travels in a straight line, in a straight line, and covers unequal distances, unequal distances in equal intervals of time. is called as non-uniform motion. So it, from this topic it is clear that motion means and any object must be change its position with respect to time. And uniform motion means that it changes its position, its speed is remains constant is called uniform motion. Suppose its speed is not constant then it is called as non-uniform motion. So we today we discuss some numericals. So the numericals based on speed. What is the speed formula? Speed is equal to distance by time. Right? And another formula? Distance is equal to speed into time. Now today
today we do the numericals from your ncrt so please students practice those numericals whatever i have explained here the first numerical is let me discuss i take an object an object travels 520 kilometers distance in 13 hours then what is its then what is its speed student like this question you have to write formula and substitution then you have to calculate otherwise in the exam pattern in the exam we have to note down the give the marks for the formula so don't forget that one for the writing of the formula let me discuss the speed is equal to distance by time what are the given information they are given the speed is equal to they given the distance distance is equal to 520 kilometers right and the time they are given 13 hours now we substitute in this so the distance is 520 kilometers by 13 hours then how much answer here we have to get 4 kilometer per how much here we have to be get here 40 kilometer per hour right and the second numerical from your ncrt the distance between the two stations is 240 kilometers. Means that we discuss two stations are there. This is one station and this is the another station. The distance between the two stations is 240 kilometers. Means they are given kilo, distance kilometer. And note them students. Distance kilometer means time must be hours. Suppose time Seconds media. Please convert it into hours. Let me discuss another one and continue the question. And a train takes four hours to cover this distance. How much time it takes? The time is equal to four hours. Now substitute. Then calculate its speed. So my question is speed how much? So again we have to practice the formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. What is the distance here? 240 by 4 then how much here we got 60 kilometer per hour Sixty kilometer per hour like that we have to continue the numerical one more numerical is there all these numericals are coming from NCRT please remember do the numericals on paper. Do it. Now, next question is uh, the NCRT question, sixth question. Salma takes 15 minutes. Means they are given time. The question number sixth question. They are given the time. The Salma takes the distance 15 minutes from her house to cover to reach her school by bicycle. If the speed of the bicycle is if the speed of bicycle is 2 meters per second, calculate the distance. Calculate distance. So clear that students, it is in minutes. Okay, it is in minutes, no problem. It is meter per second. So it is in minutes, but here it is seconds. So we have to convert. For one minute, First, I have to convert the time. Both are in the same minutes. One minute is, for one minute we have 60 seconds. And 15 minutes, for 15 minutes, how many, how many seconds? 15 into 60 seconds. Okay, it is clear. But here, they ask distance, not your speed. What is the distance formula? 